Starting today, you will be able to create whatever it is you imagine, not only completely free, but also unlimitedly. And yes, that includes not safe for work. Let's go! Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to this website. I'll provide all necessary websites on the description below. In this case, go to the one called Automatic 1111 install. In this page you'll have a lot of information about Stable Diffusion, as well as the installation guides for Linux and Apple. But in this case, I'm gonna go with Windows. We have four steps, but they are actually really really simple, so just follow along. Install Python 3.10.6. Make sure you actually install this version if you don't want any trouble. For this, I'm gonna click on the provided link. You can also go to the Python download link in the description. This is a mess of a website, so I'm gonna Ctrl F and search for 3.10.6. Download the Windows 64-bit version. Now we just double click and before installing, make sure you enable the Add Python to Path option. The rest is a simple installation, which I already had. The second step is installing git. Go to either the link in the description or the one here and install git. In this case I download setup, but I don't think it matters much. Then follow the installation, I'll leave mine if you have any doubts. Next step is actually choosing where you want to install Stable Diffusion. You should have two things in mind when doing this. Installing on your local disk should be a little faster, but keep in mind that if you are like me and you like to go crazy downloading LoRas and models, this folder can get large. So you'll need the disk space. Now, don't panic. Just with one model it should be less than 10 GB for now. Ok, last part, so pay attention. Once we have chosen the folder you want to install it on, right click it and choose git bash here. This should open a console. Next, go to the first website and copy this. Copy just up to the dot and paste it by right clicking into the CMD and then hit enter. When it finishes, it will create a new Stable Diffusion web UI folder. Before we do anything, we'll open it and search for web UI user .bat. then right click it and hit edit. We'll have to change two little things. Where it says set Python, we'll have to search Python in the search bar, find Python 3.10.6 then right click it and open folders location. Next we'll do it again with this file right here, open folders location and we get where we need. Let's copy paste this folders path into the text file, adding slash python.exe at the end and then closing the path in between quotation marks, just like this. Then just type git pull on the set command line arcs. This will check for automatic 11.11 updates every time you run it, so if you don't want that just skip this step. Finally, just run the webuiuser.bat file and the installation will begin. This can take a while, so you'll know it's done when this line pops up. And it provides you with an IP. The only thing left to do is copy this IP into your browser and ta-da! You'll have Automatic 11.11 installed to enjoy however you please. I'll quickly guide you through the basics. Up to the left you should have the base models, ok? Here you can choose models, in this case you should probably just have pruned Emma only. If by any case you don't have anything here, go to this link I provide in the description and download this file right here. Then just go to the Stable Diffusion web UI folder, go to Models, go to Stable Diffusion and copy it right here. You will have to click on this icon right here to reload the models and now it should appear. The model is like the artist, each one has its preferred style and it's good at certain things based on what it's been trained on. You'll find more models on CBT AI for example, you can download any of this. This place is the prompt, this is where you'll write what you want the AI to create. In this case, I'll type something like masterpiece, illustration, black castle, ruins, spiky top, thunderstorm, too many crowns, AK high detail, realistic textures, epic lighting, dark, flash of lightning and cinematic. And this place right here is the negative prompt, where you type what you don't want. In this case, I'll keep it simple and type human, people, watermark, text, add, low res and poor quality. The sampling method I'll keep it as it is and sampling steps I'll bring up to 40. Then I'll choose an aspect ratio, 768 by 512 is probably fine. I want one batch of 4 images so I'll do just that. CFG scale is kind of like the creativity scale, in this case I'll just leave it at 7. Finally just click generate and wait a little. And here it is, hope you enjoyed the video and have fun. And now that you have stable diffusion, I suggest you watch this video. 
Here I'll explain everything there is to know and that you need to know if you want to make the most out of this AI.